with your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Johnson's Appliance and Bedding, a third generation family owned and operated business located in Ocean City and Wildwood, New Jersey. Check us out in store or visit us online at johnsonsappliances.net. You know guys, truth be told, I'm really starting to question what season we are in. We haven't had the North Atlantic Oscillation go into its negative phase, which is what is allowing for this cold air to filter into our area all winter long. Then the calendar flips over to spring, and all of a sudden Mother Nature's like, hold on, not so fast. You know, we haven't seen any real warmth in a few days, and I think that's going to be the case for today and tomorrow. But there is some spring weather on the horizon, but that could come at a cost. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's get you out the door. Temperatures right now are widely in the upper teens or lower 20s. There is still that wind chill factor, so you gotta stay warm. Heading off to home room about 24 under partly to mostly sunny skies. Like yesterday, there's no real big issue in that department. But after school, still only getting into the lower 40s. We should be in the upper 50s this time of the year. So the cold air is holding on strong, holding on for dear life. High pressure is continuing to funnel in that Arctic tundra of an air mass into the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Now out to the South and West, this is gonna become a little bit concerning as we push ahead into say Thursday. All right, so this warm front's actually gonna be lifting through the area tomorrow morning. We could get some showers, maybe even some wintry precip in some spots. We're going to be over flooded by warm weather. Then as the cold front comes in, that could spark some showers and thunderstorms later in the day on Thursday, which could be on the strong to severe side. The Storm Prediction Center has already outlined our area in a uh, possible severe weather scenario. So don't be scared. I know I've had a lot of messages saying, hey, should I be concerned about this? The answer is you should have your peepers paying attention. You should have your ears perked up. Don't want anybody running around like Chicken Little. We will address the situation as we have more details. But yes, I think that the overall pattern is problematic. All right, partly to mostly sunny skies out there today. I mean, it's gonna be a gorgeous looking day. It's just not gonna feel good like yesterday, but at least the biting winds have backed down a little bit still with that breeze. And yes, it's still going to feel quite cold out there. Here comes our warm front coming through the area tomorrow. You see some pinks and blues and greens. Yes, it will probably be accompanied by some precipitation and some wintry weather can't be fully ruled out. So for today, let's go 43 degrees in Norristown, 44 in Media, 43 in Kennett Square, 45 in the uh, Wilmington area, getting down into South Jersey, Williamstown, 44, Marlton, 44, 43 in Trenton, 44 in Pittsgrove, and moving down into uh, Southeast South Jersey, 44 looks to be a very popular number for Galloway, Hamilton, uh, Buena Vista Township, 45 in Marmora, and finally at the beaches, Still lower 40s. Again, it feels like winter out there. Partly cloudy, remaining uncomfortable. 23 mainland, 30 at the beaches. North-northwest winds kind of shut down, so that is good. Going into tomorrow, clouds and some sun. Chance of some showers for the first part of the day. In the afternoon, the temperatures will rise up near 50 degrees. Here's your 7-day forecast. On Thursday, we've got 70 degrees coming in with that chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some of that could be strong to severe. And then it looks like we back down to around normal for the weekend and beyond.